We are following a major update coming in the wake of controversy surrounding Portland's pro soccer teams. Portland Timbers and Thorns owner Merritt Paulson says he is stepping down from his role as CEO. It comes after an investigation found widespread misconduct and abusive behavior throughout the National Women's Soccer League. Fox World's Adrian Thomas is live for us at Providence Park tonight with how people are reacting to this. Adrian. Well, Stephanie, both the Timbers Army and the Rose City Riveters, the two massive fan groups for the Thorns and Timbers, are celebrating the news, but they say that Paulson needs to go further. They're saying tonight that, again, they're celebrating this news, but they feel Paulson needs to sell the company that he owns that owns both the Thorns and Timbers. Last week, an investigation by U.S. Soccer claimed Merritt Paulson and other Timbers and Thorns executives were responsible for mishandling alleged sexual misconduct reports against previous Thorns coach Paul Riley. In a statement released this morning, Paulson apologized to players and fans, saying in part, quote, a successful team is built on trust, equality, and accountability, and today I am holding myself accountable for not doing enough. I apologize to our players, the organization, and the Portland community for the mistakes we made, including not being publicly transparent about Paul Riley's termination. Our organization's failures and mistakes were ultimately my responsibility and my responsibility alone. One of the committee members of the Thorns fan group, the Rose City Riveters, is happy, but wants Paulson gone for good. Obviously a little bit of a celebration because it's a piece of what we want, but it's not the end. Uh, we're still going to be fighting for him to fully sell the club. Thorns and U.S. women's soccer star Sophia Smith says she hopes fans still show up for the players ahead of their playoff game at Providence Park on October 23rd. Obviously, you know, it would be really disappointing to play in front of an, an empty, silent stadium. Um, I think ultimately fans not showing up affect the players more than it affects anyone. Tina Etlin with the Rose City Riveters knows fans may have mixed emotions about coming to games, but says player support is key right now. Everyone has their own way of supporting the players. If you feel comfortable coming into the stadium, that's awesome. Be there for the players. There's a lot of ways to do that outside if you don't feel comfortable. So there's really no, there's no correct way, so to speak, of protesting this right now. Now, again, the Thorns play in the uh, National Women's Soccer League playoff semifinal here at Providence Park on October 23rd. Live in Southwest, Port in Southwest Portland, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12, Oregon.